Jamie. And my name's Loman. Hello, my name's Barry and I'm a facilitator for Visible Fiction. On the project called The Impossible. One of the things I really enjoyed about this project is telling the story of Amelia Earhart because some of the participants know everything about her, they even know more facts than I do, and other participants don't know a lot about her. Um, and getting to see their faces when they find out that she was the first woman to fly non-stop across the Atlantic Ocean and then she's going to attempt to be the first woman to fly around the world but she disappeared. Seeing her faces light up at that mystery of what happened to her has been, it's it's so fun to watch. Um, we then try and come up with what did happen to Amelia Earhart and my favourite theory so far is that she was abducted by aliens. My favourite part has been the guessing game that we play at the very beginning. Yeah. So there's three objects inside of a box that we need to guess what they are. And it's so amazing how quick the kids can link the three objects mm -hmm. together to figure out this part of Amelia Earhart and her journey. My favourite part has been seeing the amount of effort that's gone into creating the flight decks. So each child has created their own flight deck, which they sit inside whilst they listen to the audio drama. So it's to simulate what it would be like to be Amelia flying around the world. And some of these kids have put in so much effort. They've got different buttons, they've got the steering wheels, they've got levers, they've got these circuit boards yeah. that connected to things, that had things spinning and lights flashing up. It was incredible. Another thing I really enjoyed about this project is just getting to connect with different schools in the North Lancashire area. Um, working with all these children and bringing the impossible to them. It's been amazing and just getting to see their faces reacting to the audio drama, their expressions and they just can't help but like shout out and talk about it and then and there and hearing like their favourite parts, what they really enjoyed, that they love the music. There's so many of them that just sit and dance in their seat as they're listening to it and they get really invested in the story it's it's amazing to see um and i think i think there should be more workshops like this for kids